Sienna Mathis. I'm a senior at Lincoln Southeast High School. Hey, hi! And my poem is called Notes on Life, Death, and Playing Cards. I remember his old wrinkled skin, his life carved into the creases of his face like a topographic map. I remember the effort he put into every move. His walk was that of an old weathered ship who had gone more miles than I can count and seen rougher seas than I can comprehend. I remember the effort it took for him to form the words that I'm sure flowed smoothly through his mind. I remember his early arrival to every get-together that left us scrambling to get ready. I remember we had exactly seven minutes from the time we spotted his car up the road till the time we would need to greet him at the door. <laughs> but while we worried, running around like bugs in a jar, the only thing he cared about was company. He didn't care about the eggplant colored napkins with the mandarin colored plates that my mother was sure ruined every aspect of the evening. I remember the lulls in the conversation, the awkward pauses. These pauses taught me patience. I remember sitting around the coffee table with cards in our hand, waiting for him to play just one card out of the stack he had accumulated that was at that point much larger than the draw pile itself. I remember it wasn't until hour three that with the help of my brother, he finally started to lay down some cards. He finally started to play the game that I don't think he ever did understand. I remember counting up the points and seeing how being dead last didn't seem to face him. I remember the smile on his face was like that of a child who just won their first game of tic-tac-toe. Is it with age that you find more joy in the little things, or do you become less affected by the little things? When you are older, what is your definition of little things? I remember the stories he told of his life on one ship where the Navy straightened his posture but crippled his back. I remember the stories he told of his late wife, whose sculpture of Old St. Nick that hung on our living room wall because my mother had coincidentally bought it many years before. I remember these stories not as clear and concise, but as snippets half my own. I remember his generosity, the $20 bills that were the biggest I had ever held. I remember the angel for my 15th birthday that means more to me now than I ever thanked him for. I remember his simplicity, his contentedness with life. Is it with age that you realize that some things aren't worth your worry? Do you come to terms with life because you finally understand it or because you have no choice? When you are older, do pains become sharper, or are they then dull? I remember his funeral, with very few words and very few greetings. Is it with old age that you learn to take life as it comes, or do you still wish for something more, something different, something better? <laughs>